I'm just curious, why does God always have this habit of giving um, some of the dumbest people out there attractiveness? So I went to Google, I went to Google, I put Pinky Doll Naked, and I click on pictures. And what I see, what I see, there's a lot of page, there's a lot of page. You keep swiping and swiping. So it's not Google, it's Goggle. Guys, this right here is the uh, ranting, not the full rant, but don't worry, we'll get to this here in a second. The rantings of an OnlyFans girl named uh, Pinky Doll. Now, guys, I want you to go ahead and know that this is going to be the only video of today. I wasn't able to post yesterday. I was working on some pretty big stuff for the weekend, which, by the way, it's going to be a pretty eventful weekend. I've got the first blood project coming out on Sunday, and, of course, I've got two follow-ups to the previous video that I did on Tim Pool's uh, Civil War take, and not to mention this video that was released that a lot of people think is staged of this uh, this woman and her son upsetting uh, this couple on a plane. Don't worry, we'll probably discuss that over the weekend as well, because even though it has uh, been about a week or so, it's still going very viral. I think there's some issues in that video that, quite frankly, we need to look at. However, though, let's go ahead and tackle this issue here. Now, guys, what have I been saying for a while when it comes to OnlyFans? It's not the money maker that you think it is. Also, I've talked about the men who pay the money who actually sent for these OnlyFans girls and, of course, those who even follow. And there's even been cases of uh, OnlyFans girls being killed by those who were actual patrons of their account. It's kind of dangerous. And then now you get this situation where Pinky Doll here decides to throw a little bit of a fit because... Well, some moron out there posted some of her photos. Let's go ahead and listen to the full rant, and we'll come back on the other side. So I went to Google. I went to Google. I put Pinky Doll Naked, and I click on pictures. And what I see, what I see, there's a lot of page. There's a lot of page. You keep swiping and swiping and swiping. It don't stop. It don't stop. And I see all this website. How dare you? You don't let other people put my face, my body out here doing stuff like that. How dare you? We talk asking an ID. Where's the ID terms? Tell me that. What's up? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you something today. I'm going to sue all of you. All of you are going to sue you. I'm going to sue you. Y'all want to play with me? You allow the people post pinky doll? Really? Because you know you're about to get paid? Well, guess what? I'm about to get all that money. All that money. For the rest of this video, I'm going to call her Goggle or Gogle, whichever one, because obviously Pinky Lady here doesn't understand proper English. Look, I'm going to try to be as tender and as soft as I can be in this video because I already know that people out there, especially ladies on OnlyFans, are not going to take my advice. But I'm going to be talking about the reasons why it is that girls may be going in that and why is they should avoid this altogether. And also, as I've also said on multiple occasions, I know I said also now three times in one sentence. Uh, yeah, dudes, if you're paying for this crap, you're actually making the, the situation worse. If anything, you should just stop paying for it altogether. I think the dudes who pay for pictures of girls, they're pretty daggone sick, and they obviously have a much, much lower IQ than those who actually just look at it for free. Either way, though, you shouldn't be doing this because it gives you a completely unrealistic view of women. Either way, though, let's go ahead and talk about this. What this girl is complaining about is she's complaining about the fact that somebody got a hold of her photo. So how the hell would they get a hold of her photo? So more than likely what happened was is that they went to their OnlyFans page and then got the actual photos, meaning that they paid whatever subscription fee that this girl has. By the way, it has been stated that 90% of the girls who do post to OnlyFans are not making the money that you would think. The Most of the girls who made money were the girls who actually started out with the craze. And, of course, it creates a bubble economy. And after a while, as you age, you become less and less attractive to those that are coming in and approaching the photos, approaching the videos or whatever. I've, as I've said before, you shouldn't be paying for this crap anyways because you're getting a much, much un more unrealistic view of women. And at the same time, though, you're just feeding their, uh, their narcissism and their BS. But also at the same time, you're also feeding their decline. It's a pretty dirty business for several reasons, and it actually hurts the man more because he's oftentimes uh, being drifted into loneliness, where the girl, on the other hand, she basically threw her ass out there, and now everybody in the world kind of knows who she is based upon her online profile. And then to go on top of this, when that money runs out, how are you going to be able to get a job and hold a job? Several ladies have already been fired or lost jobs or lost their career because they had an OnlyFans account on the side. I mean, what about the situation of the girl in 2020 from Texas where her and her husband did OnlyFans and eventually she had to pull her kids out of school when she 
had to move two towns over to get away from the BS. Chances are, more than likely, she's probably never going to have an actual true job with actual good pay and benefits for the rest of her life. And her kids are obviously going to be the ones who are going to be the uh, they're the ones that actually bear the brunt of this. But still, though. This girl here, she may not have any kids or anything, so maybe she doesn't care about that. But still, at the same time, it matters in the long run. So let's go ahead and take care of the picture person, uh, the picture portion of this video first. So how in the hell did somebody get a hold of these pictures and put them on Google? Well, more than likely, and if I didn't say it already, they went to her OnlyFans page, took screenshots, snapshots, whatever, and then decided to post them on Instagram or post them all over Google. So where all you gotta do is just type in Pinky Girl or Pinky Lady, whatever the hell this chick's name is. And next thing you know, everybody in the whole world can see her ass. It's just the way that it is. Now she's upset about this. Well, let me go ahead and say this. That was a risk that you took when you originally decided to create that OnlyFans account. By the way, I've heard a lot of people say that, well, you know, you don't just uh, strip on OnlyFans or whatever. You can cook on OnlyFans. You can have people follow you for this. No, no, no. They're not showing up to watch you cook. They're, watch, they're showing up to watch you strip, which sends me back to career ramifications. Let me say this. I've noticed a lot of attitudes out of young people. They've taken advantage of social media. Me, for example, I'm on social media doing this because, quite frankly, I'm sort of in the full-time YouTube apparatus. This is kind of my job now. Here's the thing. A lot of these young people are taking advantage of social media, and they're doing such stupid crap. They don't realize that the video could eventually get it. It seems to me like the worst stuff seems to go viral. Well, what if an employer gets your name, gets your contract, does a background check on you while you're trying to apply for a job once you realize that the social, uh, social media money is no longer there because in order to actually do this, you have to do it full time and you have to change things up, create different channels, all that type of stuff. At some point in time, the money is eventually going to dry up, so you got to learn to roll with the punches and adjust. The thing about working a job is that you're showing up there to possibly work for the rest of your life. You're looking for a career and when employers see that you've got these photos out there or you've got this very stupid activity out there that you went viral for, they may uh, shun uh, they, 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 they may shun your uh, application away. They may push your resume to the side and just hire the person behind you who, quite frankly, does not have a gaudy social media account. And when it comes to the topic of OnlyFans girls, a lot of people are going to look at this and say, you know what, we don't want a girl who took her clothes off for a living. We, we just don't want her working here. I know that a lot of leftists have led people to believe Believe that they can get wherever they want. The problem is the vast majority of these people are behind a computer screen. And of course, at some point in time, their money's going to run out as well. And they don't have anything outside their leftist politics because that's really and truly all they got. After a while, when the real world occurs and you see that nothing goes the way you've been told, yes, this right here is another problem that you're going to end up bearing the brunt of. Beware of who you listen to. Obviously, there are going to be career ramifications for this. Now, really quick, I can already hear ladies in the comment section saying, well, it's not like you ain't never got an Instagram account or, okay, okay, let me go ahead and tell you something really quick. Here's the thing you have to understand about sex work, okay? And I'm not in favor of sex work at all. I've voiced that on this platform several occasions. Look, if a girl is in a situation where she maybe starts working at a strip club or whatnot because she's a single mother, that type of thing there, which, by the way, I know I'm going to get roasted for saying this. I don't like the fact that they're doing that. As a matter of fact, I would urge them not to do that. I would much rather you just go ahead and work two jobs to take care of the kids because, yes, the money may seem nice at first, but you're putting your kid's reputation on the line. What if little Johnny goes to school one day and, say six or seven years old, the next thing you know, kids start picking on him behind his back. Well, because kids are probably going to get wind because they're going to find out from uh, overhearing parents' conversations, especially if you live like in a small town or a medium-sized town, that your mama takes your clothes off for a living. They're going to hear that and they're automatically going to assume that that child was weird or whatnot. Next thing you know, that child's going to get into fist fights or whatnot, trying to defend his mama. The next thing you know, he's going to get suspended. And next thing you know, you're eventually going to quit your job as well. And the next thing you know, when you try to apply for another job, some people are going to say to themselves, she worked at the cat club. She worked at the cheetah. She worked at this place over here. You may not be able to get a job. You need to ask yourself a question. Is taking your clothes off for money, is it actually worth it? Okay, is it worth your child's well-being? And of course, I can already hear somebody saying, well, a lot of these girls are single. Okay, let's talk about that right there for a second. So here's the deal about this. Number one, you just saw what the hell Pinky here is going through. Somebody leaked her photo, sent it out there, and don't worry, we'll talk about trafficking here in a second because there was this person with blue hair who uh, got everybody going on the internet for a few weeks because she claimed she was being trafficked online when it was just photos that, by the way, she voluntarily put out there. 
So don't worry, we will get to that here in a second. Here is the thing that you have to understand about it when you're single. I understand that some girls want to get into modeling. Isn't there like a pageant process? Isn't there other ways that you can go through with that? Modeling agencies, that type of stuff there? Okay. I understand that there are certain girls who may want to get into porn. Okay, well, if you want to strip or whatnot to get in porn, if you want to get screwed on camera, that's not my problem. I'm just not going to pay for it. And quite frankly, I'm not going to want anything to do with that. I've already told you guys how I feel about that business. I think that porn erodes people's minds. And it also gives you an extremely unrealistic view of women. Next, this right here is another problem. If you're single and you're trying to do it to get into acting, it lets people know that you had to do some pretty horrible, disgusting things, and it could lead to a lot of regret and possibly emotional and psychological problems later on down the road. And if you think it's going to help you enhance the possibility of you getting a relationship with a man or possibly getting married, uh, I hate to tell you this, hon, but uh, you're just going to get used up pretty quick, and nobody's going to take you serious. Now, there are some men out there who can forgive what we call, quote-unquote, reformed hoes, women that have actually uh, moved on and learned from their mistakes. We'll probably do a video on that at a later date, seeing how it is that I love to cover just about every single topic on this channel, which, by the way, I'm going to narrow that down to about three things, but don't worry. You're not getting a, a good picture here. The minute the photo of your ass shows up online, people are automatically going to assume that you are easy if they meet you in real life. This right here is going to lead to a lot of negative altercations. And of course, at the same time, if you go along with this, you're going to get a bit of a reputation that after a while, you're just going to be laughed at. Which leads me to the whole trafficking thing. Now, guys, I have given you my thoughts on this, and I'm going to go ahead and reiterate them again. If you are in a business, ladies, where you take your clothes off for a living, people are eventually going to get a hold of those pictures, even if they're protected. You know, you've got the, you know, you've got phones that can do screenshots, whatever, and they're mostly looking at your photos through mobile apps. So what are they going to do? They're going to take photos of it. They're going to post it online. Next thing you know, your ass is everywhere. You're not getting paid for it. Now you want to sue, sue goggle which by the way is just going to look at you and say, you enter this at your own risk. We're not going to pay you anything. You're not going to get your way at all. And also something else too, based upon the actual income of OnlyFans girls, I don't think you're going to have the money to be able to sue an organization like Google, which is worth billions and I mean billions of dollars. They're probably going to look at your court case and they're going to probably look at the docket. And they're probably just going to toss it out like it's absolutely nothing. And they're just going to continue to move on. Meanwhile, you're out of money three years later trying to still sue these people. And if you do get a settlement, the inflation rate's going to be so high that obviously the money's not going to matter. You're probably going to end up with less money that you made when you were on OnlyFans itself. So, uh, yeah, uh, you, uh, you obviously were taking a major risk when you decided to throw your ass and your boobies and whatnot out there online. The thing is this right here, you can scream trafficking all you want, but at the end of the day, the Google gods are not going to care. They're probably going to toss this out like it's absolutely nothing. And then next thing you know, pictures of your bare ass are out there online. While they may look sexy to some people, nobody's ever going to take you serious. And when you stop, you're going to be looking to get a job someday. Yeah, you have no idea the type of harm that you were causing to your future. You may want to stop. Speaking of stopping, this right here is where I'm going to go ahead and halt this video. The fact of the matter is, ladies, when you enter into something like OnlyFans, you're really putting yourself at risk to a lot of creepy people out there who are willing to pay 5 to $20 a month to, uh, yeah, look at your photos. You're also putting yourself at risk for potential stalkers. You've also got these uh, cases where men have actually killed their quote-unquote OnlyFans girlfriend, which, by the way, they met for the first time because they thought because they were paying money, if they met them in real life, they would be able to get laid. Yes, it's just an extremely risky business, and you might want to stop. Also, something else, too, the amount of money that most of you girls are making is not exactly what we call a living wage. Go find an actual job. Get off the OnlyFans site. Take your natural beauty. Go reform yourself. Get some help, whatever. And maybe someday you can meet somebody and have an actual honest-to-God good life. And then when somebody brings this up, you can say, yeah, I was very immature at that point in time. I was very naive, very stupid. I met a man. I got saved. I became a Christian. I've been married for 10, 15 years now. I've got kids. I'm happy. I don't need to do that anymore. Maybe you should stop right now doing what you're doing and maybe try a different path. With that right there being said, guys, John Claymore here. If you like this content, please hit the like button, subscribe, share the video. It looks like we're going to have four videos out this weekend, three here on Claymore and one on Gear Issue 33. Make sure you guys stick around for it all, and I shall see you guys later.